Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Well, I have finally calmed down a bit since the arty farty party on Saturday. What a blast that was. <laughs> I just wanted to come on quickly and just say thank you to everyone concerned. It, I was just overwhelmed by the response. Um, and we, Tom and I had spent a lot of time working hard on it all in the background for the last few weeks. Um, so obviously we hoped it was going to be really good, but it just exceeded expectations and that was down to all you guys. You know, um, the one thing that I realised watching it back afterwards, and I really enjoyed watching it back afterwards because I missed so much, it all passed in a blur. Um, but one of the things I realised I'd forgotten to say was the fundamental reason for, for sort of throwing a party in the first place was uh, to celebrate passing um, a thousand subscribers and uh, to kind of celebrate and say thank you to all of you because, um, you know, it just means such a lot to me it really yeah it really makes my day every time I, i'm reading your comments and stuff you know um and i've got to, i think i just completely forgot to say that during the actual stream so i'll say it now thank you very much to everybody i really appreciate everybody subscribing and all your lovely positive comments all the time they they really give me a, a lift uh, so we had i think i think it was it was over 300 views on the day and there were around sort of 50 of you watching at the same time all the way through you know sticking with us all of the way through we had people from all over the world so i jotted some down that i noticed all over the uk um england scotland iron and wales they were all represented um and cornwall <laughs> i've got family in cornwall and um uh, all over europe we had uh finland sweden germany Denmark, um, did I say Sweden? <laughs> Just yeah. Oh, and then all over the um, the states, um, Canada. There was even New Zealand. A uh, Paula in New Zealand watched us from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. her time, and she still managed to do it along and posted a beautiful. Um, uh, the, the finished her finished doodle in, in the Facebook group the next day more about that in a minute there was Dawn uh, made by Dawn from Belize and she joined us even though she'd her, uh, there'd been an awful hurricane in her country and apparently it, it lasted for eight hours it must have been absolutely terrifying we don't experience anything like that here so for her still to show up you know was amazing and I was so glad she won a prize as well so um, but again more about that in a minute I've actually made myself a note so I don't forget to say things this time. <laughs> so yeah, and and you know, you didn't just show up and watch, you were all so interactive in the chat and that's what it made it just really fun and really lively and it was just yeah. And I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed watching all the chat back afterwards. It was brilliant and it was so fun, it, you know, I it really made me smile. Um so special thank yous to my guests, um, who who did my little guest spot for me. So there was Johnny, Zoe, Emily, Gabby, Casper's film, which we managed to cock up the sound. <laughs> Maybe I'll put Casper's film in here. I'm going to do that. Here's Casper's film. Hello, Annie and everyone else watching along. When you're watching this, I am at my wife's niece birthday celebrating her. But I will also think about you, Annie, uh, and celebrate you and your 1k subs. Congratulations. I love the fact that you throw yourself into so many creative projects, everything from um, textiles to illustrations to painting. Also the fact that you're so good at involving other people in, uh, in different projects such as the Inspired by Fairy Stories. So you had some questions. Um, the first one being, what do you do in your spare time where you're not making art? Well, I draw, obviously I draw a lot um, in my sketchbooks. Um, I have a one-year-old daughter and a wife who I spend a lot of time with. Uh, I hang out with friends and then I do like to go uh, into nature when I have the time and just uh, enjoy it there and uh, maybe I'll even look for some mushrooms to, to make some ink of. Next question, what is on your desk slash in the pipeline? Well, on my desk I have uh, a children's book that I'm working on at the moment. So here are some sketches of the main character. So this is what I spend most of my time on at the moment. Then there's the question, oh, that was the wrong order, but uh, what would you put in your desert island pencil case? Well, I think I would 
have some sort of basic material, probably a pencil, uh, maybe two pencils, and then I would fill in the rest of the of the pencil case just with pages, with sketchbook pages, so that I would be able to draw the things that were on this uh, island. It's crucial for me to be able to draw my surroundings, so I would simply fill it with a lot of pages um, and then just a couple of pencils. Again, congratulations, Annie. Uh, keep sh making and sharing all your wonderful ideas. And I look so much forward to watching this Artifati Annie celebration video um, after this birthday here. Bye. So there we go. That's another little look at Casper. So it was such a lovely little film. It was a shame not to have heard it properly because of that echoey thing that was happening at the beginning. Um, so did I, did I say everybody? Is Emily, Zoe, Gabby, Johnny, Casper. Who am I forgetting? Oh! <laughs> and of course my lovely husband, John. Um, who reminded me that it was the anniversary of the day he proposed to me. And I'd completely forgotten he's much better at remembering those things than I am. Anyway, I'm digressing again. Biggest, biggest thank you to my son, Tom. Um, he's such a... He's such a sweetie, as you will all have seen. Um, and he's so clever with all the... Um, he, he did all the coding for the for the bot that ran the giveaways. And he made all the all the lovely pretties on the screen. He just... Oh, I mean, he's just he's just amazing. And he's really good, really good as well at keeping me calm and keeping me on track. <laughs> well done to everybody who won um, a prize. I'm going to have a a quick look in a minute at a couple of them I want to show you, you can see in the school oh, well, you can see up there I've been busy all day packing these up I've now got all of your addresses so it's now Tuesday I've finally got all of your addresses I've wrapped everything up I've still got to go onto the Royal Mail website and print off some labels and get these all ready for posting tomorrow so they'll be on their way to you really soon we had nine random prizes we had a special prize which was the desert island pencil case well done to Faye for winning that one um and then we had the star prize which was the school of ops i'm and that was sue um i've passed your details on to school box and uh they'll be sending it directly to you soon so looking back at the chat afterwards there was lots of uh, lots of things that made me smile along the way i really enjoyed reading it all back because you can't you just can't keep up with it all when you're actually busy and doing i didn't do very well with getting through my doodles everybody else did some amazing stuff i'll show you in a moment um but there were a couple of things there was a question uh faye said that we didn't notice at the time but who makes the dinner it's me faye it's me i'll make the dinner i do all the cooking um it's the one thing that john doesn't do because he he's he's really really good and he does uh almost everything else really <laughs> and he's ever so tolerant of my crafting habit um i spend a lot of my time here i mean so like i don't like do nothing i do do chores but you know he does he's a, he likes to be busy um and he does do a lot of that kind of thing so it's just cooking and i love to cook so it's a very happy arrangement uh, so that was that um a couple of people said about all um having uh, doing some more live streams and Leslie in particular suggested um, doing more where we can all kind of be focusing on one project and that would be nice that's kind of what I thought I would do with the doodling but in practice there wasn't enough time so yes that went so well I think we we will do some more live streams but they'll they'll be a bit more relaxed um, not so much going on um, so that uh, I can sort of focus more on doing something. So if if you'd like to see some more live streams, please let me know in the comments and and let me also know which kind of thing would you like to see? Because I'm I know I do some very different things and I know probably some people like to watch a bit of everything like I do. Some people are more into the arty stuff, some people just like the wreck, wreck the journal stuff, and some people like sewing. So let me know if you would like to see more live streams where we could all join in. Um, and be working on the same thing and maybe share what we've done in the Facebook group after that kind of thing um, let me know I mean I could do things like we could draw faces and you know you could either learn to draw faces if you've never done it before or just practice drawing them with me I, I don't know we could do something like that or I could do some simple crochet or we could just or do a bit of slow stitching together, just have a chit chat. I don't know. Let me know what kind of thing you fancy if you would like to see more live streams. Have I said everything I wanted to say? I always forget something. I do just want to show you the um, 
the Facebook group. So the Arty Farty Annie Facebook group. I will leave a link to that below. Um, it's just it was just an explosion of colour the next day. I was so I was made up when I saw it. So this is the Arty Farty Annie Facebook group. There's also an Arty Farty Annie page. It's not the page that you want. That's where I would post things like the videos that just come out or reminders about the party or things like that. Um, but only I'm allowed to post it. It won't let anyone else post in there. So if you go to this one, the Arty Farty Annie group, um, you can anybody can post in there. I choose a, um, a different one every couple of days to move to the top, <laughs> to, move, to to pin at the top here as one of the, the featured posts. And you can see here, I, I pinned Paula's because I just thought it, she went over and above <laughs> to be able to produce that between three and five o'clock in the morning <laughs> from New Zealand and still post it. <laughs> I just thought was wow amazing um I did finally post my own doodle today I finished it yesterday but then forgot to actually photograph it so that's how mine turned out there's this one which I posted from I think this was Lorna um so I don't think she does Facebook but she said she was happy for me to to share it <laughs> oh I love it uh this is Faye um, she, she sent me a photo and I posted it for her. She's really not very well at the moment. So um, get well soon, Faye. Take care. Um, beautiful. Absolutely love that. This is Leslie. For some reason, she couldn't, couldn't get it to, to post in the group. I'm not sure why, but this is what she was doing. She's working in her 365 book. Um, this is Phoebe. Beautiful. Look at it. Look at that. Jackie. Also different, putting words in there is a different idea. <laughs> this one's different. This is different. Again, I love that. Cheap colouring book style. Colouring book style, not cheap colouring book style. <laughs> well, that, that's the kind of thing that I'll post sometimes and perhaps post on the page where it's just something that I'm sending a link or whatever. There's Troy posting one of his lovely artworks in the, be in the beginning beginnings of a pet portrait so you can share anything in there bb's been doing some birds painting birds from photos that she's taken herself it's lovely to see whatever you do whatever you do creatively um crafty arty whatever i'm very happy for you to share it now i love seeing it. it's when people see when people say in the comments what they do it's always lovely if i can actually see and I'm happy to, if you want to leave a link to a, you know, Instagram or something, I'm, I'm happy to go pop over there and have a look. But it's just, it's, sometimes it's easy just to do it here. And, yeah. Look at it. And Kerry was there. She was playing um, on her uh, iPad. iPad, is it I, iPad 6? It's, she was using Procreate on her iPad. Oh, look at it. Beautiful. That's what, that's after she'd put it through another filter, I believe. There's BB's doodle. She's, there's all sorts of creatures in, hidden in here. The more you look, the more you see. This was the beginning of Kerry's, and that's after she'd run it through a filter. It, it's just, I love the idea of combining, you know, human art and digital art. Mary was, she was with us, but she was making Christmas stockings. Mary's brilliant. She, she's been doing, um, she's been really helpful. Um, give me some pointers about Kwandi quilting. This is Rachel's. Look at that. Look at those colours. Trina's. It's my friend Trina. She lives near to me. It's Trina that actually started calling me Arty Farty. And it's a Trina's husband, Chris. She's posted his as well. He's got his fan faces in his. There's Phoebe's again at the beginning. And here's Paula's, which I pinned to the top there. Look at the colours in there. This is Taz. Taz Scott Forden. Look at those colours. I love that pop of orange against the cool, kind of bluey, purpley colours. Brilliant. Anne-Marie. <gasps> Beautiful line work. Different patterns in there. Wonderful. Look at those. Look at the little creatures hidden in there. All these. Oh. I could never do that. So that's all of those that I've just shown you been posted since the party. It's just been an explosion of colour and uh, just I've really, really enjoyed seeing it. This now, now um, as I said, I've been busy packing up the um, prizes all day. Now, 
Rapping isn't my best thing. People who know me laugh because I will spend hours making a card or a gift or whatever, and then I wrap it up like fish and chips, really, you know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I can't do it or I can't be asked to. Do it. I'm not sure. I also prefer to use recycled packaging. So when your parcels arrive, don't be disappointed if they look kind of like this. Um, or, or this. <laughs> They're not going to be beautiful. Um, where possible, I've oops. Where possible, I've reused Amazon packaging and stuff. So. Um, there's a lot of recycled packaging here but there were just a couple of things I just wanted to show you I'm not going to show what's inside this but a couple of big I think two or three people um said oh go on give Chris a prize because <laughs> I think Chris actually typed exclamation mark join about 50 times <laughs> for each draw so there is a little special prize in here for Chris I'm not going to show what it is because I want it to be a surprise. So this one is going to, to Dawn in Belize and um, they've been going through this awful hurricane. And she sent me some photos of the awful devastation that it had caused to her home. That must be, I just can't imagine. And Dawn won the sparkle set. So it was this, um, sorry about the price written on there. I can't take it off because the person selling it had written it on in biro i mean wouldn't you think being that something that you might buy as a present wouldn't you think you'd just put that on a sticky label and come or a pencil it could be rubbed out <sighs> anyway <laughs> so it's this eco-friendly glitter set it's got a al aloe vera gel in there so that you can stick it to yourself or you can use it crafting whatever but you haven't got to worry about it damaging the environment which is great and we also did um put a little uh, pack of self-adhesive jewels in there which you could stick to yourself or crafting projects depending on how brave you're feeling <laughs> but I've put in a little extra Dawn this is something that I know Dawn really wanted and it was difficult to get hold of over there so I've got it from Amazon <laughs> but luckily it came really quickly and I'm going to pop that in for you as well just to uh, cheer you up a bit with everything you've been going through so I hope you'll like that um and this one, this one is going to Christine. Now this is, it's not, a, it's not the scrawler box. I'm going to reuse this box. Somebody, um, who was, Sue won the scrawler box. So this is a little kind of selection pack of some of the paper craft items that I hand made for a craft fair that never happened because of Covid basically. <laughs> So it's a little selection of 10 things and I've been thinking about putting little select kind of assortments like this I'm calling it an arty farty assortment. I've been thinking of putting these little arty farty assortments in the Etsy shop um, I can't sell them individually because by the time you've paid all the Etsy fees and transaction fees and stuff um, And pay for the postage, you know one small item like this is going to be a ridiculous price But if I sold them in a pack I thought that might work so this is the kind of thing you get inside this little bag. There's um, there's a couple of uh, fridge magnets. Um, I won't look too closely at everything else because otherwise it'll spoil the fun for Christine when she gets it. But what I wanted to show you, Christine, is you'll probably pick this up and think, what on earth are these? What this is most, what this is for is to put a little, so it's standing on your desk or whatever, to put a little photo in. So it's got like a bulldog clip here. You just put those, put the arms of the bulldog clip up and you slot this little sleeve there. So it will stand on your desk like this. And you can change the angle a little bit because it's a really cute thing to make. If you're, if you're a paper crafter, you can see it's quite quite simple. to. I mean, it takes you some time because you've got to finish all the edges nicely and stuff, but it's quite a nice thing to make little scraps of paper. If anybody wants a tutorial, let me know, I'll do one. So yeah, um, you just do that. You can change the angle of it, stand it up on your desk. So when you put um, when you put a photo inside, obviously it's going to cover this pattern and happy little moments will show over the top of the photo. And on the back we've got warm and snuggly. But it folds, to go in an envelope, to post to somebody, it folds all, not flat, but it would go in a large letter. I think large letter has to be up to five centimetres, up to two and a half centimetres, but it fits in a large letter. So this whole box will go as a as a large letter, believe it or not. So there we go. I just wanted to mention that so that you didn't open that, Christine, and think, what on earth? 
Yeah, so I'd, I'd be interested to know what do, what do people think? So I thought a little selection of things like this, 10 different things. So you've got things like these have got um, lip salving, a couple of fridge magnets, sticky notes, um, little uh, mini notepads there. Just things like, just little things like that. That um, And I always put a couple extras like these little, little bookmarks, that's just an extra thing. These little things with stickies you can put on your, I don't know, journals or whatever. That's the kind of thing. And I thought, well, you could, you could use them to put in, you know, if you, if you like doing little gift bags for your friends or stocking fillers or uh, party bags. Yeah. Let me know what you think, because I... I could put little just mixed packs in my Etsy shop. I just can't decide whether it would work or not. So I'll be very glad of um, your opinions. Okay, so uh, let's go. Um, that's it. Um, oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> One big thank you. I nearly forgot. It's just reminded me because I can see Squaller Box in the corner. Um, I mentioned that Scholarbox will be sending the prize directly to it. So thank you so much again, uh, Scholarbox. I don't expect they probably won't watch this, but um, I just want to I just want to say thank you because I really appreciate you. You all know anybody who watches me knows what a big fan I am of Scholarbox. So to have the chance to give one away to one of you was just like was brilliant. And um, I'll leave a link to Scholarbox below. If you ever, want, I've only just recently realised that if I I can put a link under my in my description box if you follow that and you're interested in doing a subscription to Scholar, if you do it via that link you get three pounds off your first box and i get some Scholar points as well which i can spend in shop so win-win so i'm going to start trying to remember to do that but i'll probably forget so if you ever want it and i haven't posted it just give me a shout and i'll i'll send you the link okay enough waffling on i just wanted to do a really quick um Thank you and recap and uh, yeah, I'm still buzzing really. What an amazing, what an amazing alive that was. It couldn't have gone better. And that's thanks to all of you. So um, that's it for me. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you again really soon.